Every time we do a laundry video, it seems like we're always talking about the washing machine. But there is indeed a dryer involved in the laundry pair, and I feel like we haven't given the dryer enough do. Kind of like Robin to Batman. So this week, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about being a drying wizard so you can fully and completely ace your laundry. The first thing, and I would say the most important thing about understanding your dryer is knowing that you have to empty your lint trap every single time you finish doing your laundry or right before you put a load in. But the reason this is so important is twofold. First of all, this is a major fire hazard. I don't know if you've seen this online, but people actually collect this to use for tinder for campfires. So really, when people have dryer fires, it is because of this stuff. It builds up in here and it can get really dangerous. Some people even vacuum this out every now and again. The other reason it's really important to get rid of lint is because all of this can clog up the airflow of your machine and it will increase drying time, which will make your machine less efficient your clothes won't come out as dry and as wrinkle-free as you would like them to, and they'll also come out with a lot of lint. The next thing to keep in mind is to check your fabric care labels, and if it makes sense, you wanna dry your clothing in the dryer, but always dry it inside out. And the reason this is really important is because this prevents pilling and fading of your garments. Let's talk about dryer sheets, fabric softener, and dryer balls for a minute here because a lot of you guys ask questions about this and I really wanna clear things up for you. If you put fabric softener in your washing machine because you like it, great. All it does is softens up some of the clothing that you have in there and it can coat the fibers to help reduce static when you put things in the dryer. A dryer sheet is a product that you put directly into the dryer. It provides a nice smell and it also provides that same coating onto your clothing to prevent static and also to soften things. It doesn't actually make things fluffier, well at least from my experience. But what I can tell you is that you do start to notice a film in your washing machine and on your filter. So you'll eventually have to scrub the inside of your drum and the filter to get rid of that film. Other people don't like the scent of fabric softener dryer sheets, they find it really strong. So what I've done for years is use dryer balls and there are several different types that you can use. This is a wool dryer ball, it's perfect to use for any of your natural fibers and the thing I love about wool is that I actually can drop a few drops, say five drops, of my favorite essential oil, so I always use lavender in the laundry room, onto this ball, throw it in, and it disperses the beautiful lavender scent throughout the drying cycle without obviously using any additives. So that's a really great bonus. I also have these dryer balls. You can get these at the dollar store or any sort of home goods store. You can also find them on Amazon. I've had them for years. They're really loud when you throw them in there. But the idea with this sort of hedgehog style is that it fluffs and bounces the clothing around. It really helps that tumbling motion, that tumbling cycle that beats out all the static, that fluffs things up, and it also speeds up drying. So these are actually really great, and you can throw like three, four, or five of them in your machine. Go for it. You can also use balled up tin foil if you can't find either of those options. And this is sort of like one of those made for TV products that I found a long time ago. You, you fill up this interior core with liquid and it's steam, I don't know, I don't really buy it, but you know, I just use it if I'm in need of a lot of dryer balls. So if I'm doing towels or something, I'll throw this in. So the point is there's definitely an alternative to fabric softener and dryer sheets if that isn't the thing that you like to do. These work just as well. They get rid of static, they fluff things up. You can even make your stuff smell really nice in the dryer and you didn't have to use anything extra. If you've stained a garment, you've pre-treated it, you've put it in your washing machine and you're pulling it out, think twice before you put it into the dryer. The reason is your dryer produces heat and heat will set a stain. So you better be like 100% certain that your stain is out. If for whatever reason you're not sure because you know when your garments are wet, it's oftentimes really hard to see if that stain is gone or not. I would recommend that you just hang the garment to dry until you know for sure that that stain is gone and then you can place it in the dryer as usual. Otherwise, you're gonna have a permanent stain and don't come complaining to me. On the topic of drying, but not necessarily on the topic of dryers, it's important to know what garments can and cannot 
be actually placed in the dryer. And secondly, you also want to think about whether or not you want to place something in the dryer. For example, some clothes, even though they say that they're safe for the dryer, you actually put stress on them each time you put them into the dryer because of the tumbling and the heat. So oftentimes I'll opt to hang dry most of my stuff. And you can see that over here. I lay it out on a rack. There's all my underwear, but you know what? I'm over it. You guys have seen enough of that on the internet. But a lot of times I'll just hang dry garments, pants, underwear, cotton, anything. And also if I'm doing a smaller load, there's no need to waste electricity and run through an entire dryer cycle if I can just hang a bunch of things. It wouldn't be a Clean My Space video if we didn't talk about how to clean something, and the dryer is no exception. It's really important to maintain the inside as well as the filter and some of the areas outside and around the dryer. Fortunately, we have a great video on that which I will link down below. It's really important to maintain your dryer, especially because it's dealing with heat, which can of course be a safety hazard, and also so you want to make sure it's venting properly, A, for that safety hazard reason, but B, because you want to make sure that it's being energy efficient and not costing you extra money and time. So make sure you check that video out. I hope this explains why the dryer plays an integral part in the overall laundry flow chart. So now that you're a dryer wizard, I would love to know, do you have any dryer tips or drying tips that you can share with me and the Glean My Space community? Let me know in the comments down below. That also goes for questions. Please, of course, let us know. And I have another question for you guys specifically because I hung a bunch of stuff to dry the other day, including a washcloth, and it came out so matted. And I just haven't been able to figure out how to get it nice and fluffy when I don't put it into the dryer. And I know this is something that a lot of you guys deal with. So if anybody has a solution on how to get your stuff more fluffy, if you're hang drying it, particularly towels, please let us know in the comments down below. You can also find me on Instagram. I can show you things that I'm up to during the week and I'd love to see what you're up to. Trust me, it goes a little bit beyond laundry. I'm a little bit more interesting than that. I'm at Melissa Maker. He is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Now it's that crazy time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're gonna love. The first one I mentioned earlier is how to clean your washer and your dryer. It's a great video, I highly recommend you check it out. And the second video has to do with five great laundry tips. So just things that'll help you make your laundry go a little bit faster. Kind of like today's video, but not exclusively about the dryer. All the links for that will be down below. You can also click or tap or do some interactive thing to get yourself to the video. It'll work, whatever you do. There's also a link down there to cleanmyspace.com, which is our blog, which is full of cool, crazy articles, printables, product reviews, and all kinds of other great stuff. So make sure you check it out. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next week.